I had never heard of this artist, suddenly I see these amazing images that captured suffering like I'd never seen before. Segato thought that art was a political weapon as long as it, it is accessible to all. I'm Lorena Manriquez, and I'm the director, producer, and writer of Siqueiro's Walls of Passion. I'm Miguel Picker. I also directed the film with, with Lorena. I also filmed, edited, and composed the, the music. Nosotros queremos hacer un arte para todos los hombres. Arte difícil. Arte como el arte de todos los grandes periodos de la historia. Arte público, dijimos, arte público. Este es un arte para las multitudes. The film is, is a profile of David Alfaro Siqueiros, who was one of the great Mexican muralists of the 20th century, along with Diego Rivera and José Clemente Orozco. The one that you would hear less about was always Siqueiros because he was always the most involved in the politics and how to use art to create change. For many years, the figure of Siqueiros has been practically banished from art books. He depicted the human condition, and sometimes that offends people. He painted murals worldwide, in Chile, in Argentina, in Cuba, and of course, Mexico. He was really active politically in the history of the 20th century. He participated in the Mexican Revolution, and he went to fight in the Spanish Civil War as well. I think Siguedos has not been given the place in art history that he deserves. I really hope that our, our film brings more awareness and that he gets the recognition as one of the greatest artists of the 20th century. Siqueiros's inventiveness, his experimentalism, quite literally laid the foundation for much of the work of the abstract expressionists of the 1940s and 50s. I always thought that the film had to be told from Siqueiros' perspective. It's really difficult when you, when Siqueiros had been dead for many decades. Eventually, I decided that the way to tell the story was to actually tell it first person and have Siqueiros just tell the story of his life. Chich Marin, he's an icon in the Chicano community. So I just wrote an email to his agent thinking, you know, my budget was very limited. He actually responded and he said, yes, let's do it. I was 17 when I joined the Constitutional Army. We traveled all around our country and I met many different Mexicans. I learned who we were really fighting for. It was then that I became a citizen artist. I realized art had to capture the struggle of our people. It's for them we became revolutionaries. Siguero painted a really important mural here in Los Angeles called America Tropical in 1932. It inspired the Chicano muralist movement of the 60s and 70s. It portrayed an indigenous man crucified under the, the cross with uh, the symbol of the United States above him. Because the actual title of America Tropical is Tropical America Oppressed and Destroyed by Imperialism. That was offensive, which is why it was whitewashed first one third and then within the decade the entire mural. The white paint began to come apart or you know, crack, and this image began to come out of the, the wall uh, during the 1960s and 70s, during the Chicano movement and Chicano muralist movement. And so this image really inspired artists all over Los Angeles to 
begin painting on the street, begin paint, telling their stories on, on the walls of Los Angeles. And then not only in, in California, but all over the United States in the 60s and 70s. Many of us muralists began to look at this work and began to say to us, paint the streets. This is the way we can tell our story. Here was an indication of the direction that we might want to go, a political direction. And not just affirming who we were, but calling attention to the issues and the kind of discrimination that we as Chicanos had experienced in the United States. The importance of public art is really what I'd like audiences to take away after watching this film. To imprison art in the galleries for just the people that can afford to buy and talk about it, it's just not art anymore. You destroy the essence of what art should be. To really respect art, you have to allow art to speak for itself and has to be seen and it has to be accessible to all in society.